Want to be right legged across the box or left legged across the box? Looks as if Murray wants to take control of it, and he does. Pumps it into the area. Ty Ryan really nowhere for that one, but it sails over the top. It looked like Dara Leahy got a touch on it in the finish. It's Ball 20 minutes. Strain to Hanlon. Picked him out very well, and Hanlon now needs a bit of support and uh, can't manage to thread through a pass. And it's taken away by Dundalk, and Han Yang Wu gets things moving. And it's in the middle of the field with Greg Sloggett. He finds Sean Murray. Sam Stanton out here to Cameron Dunnigan and Dundalk now move to the left side of their attack patient build up by Dundalk content to come backwards to go forward and through they go Sam Stanton good play by him nice ball in and Yang Wu with the effort and Ty Groin getting down smartly at his near post to turn that one around. Andy Boyle just letting Red Hanlon know, Kieran Hanlon, that he's there with uh, that particular foul. Uh, today's game, of course, on League of Ireland Television, brought to you in association with Limerick 2030 and Treaty United, supported by Limerick.ie in this season's uh, competition in the FEI Cup. Nice play here by Treaty United. Up for the shot. That one came in. And Joel Costrain. Unleashing that one, which is loaded with, with even more experience and uh, first teamers, so he'll be keeping an eye on how things go. Sean Murray's corner, then, it, and it goes. Glancing header there, but the ball is gonna in the men's division. Good defending again at the back there by Treaty, but uh, Dundalk getting a foothold in the Treaty half at the moment, Tommy. They are indeed, and again, it, it's true. Uh, Treaty not holding on to the ball. Sean McSweeney there just taking a touch too much. Holding on to the ball. Sean McSweeney there just taking a touch too much. And, and uh, getting in comes, on it. In comes an effort there from Cameron Dunnigan. Dunnigan and uh, But uh, again, great play by uh, Anto. Here's Clyde O'Connell looking for a bit of movement. Kieran Hanlon is nearest. Gives him an easy pass. Hanlon then out to Ed McCarthy on the right side. Over halfway. Promising here for Treaty United. McCarthy finds Keane. Keane back to McCarthy looking for movement on the far side now diagonal ball across to Stephen Christopher he'll do well to control this and does well the player who joined recently for Galway United. nice ball to Mark Loudon he'll sweep it in up there rise Hanlon gets a header to it it's not clear yet Sean McSweeney in the box and eventually it's cleared by Dara Leahy and Dundalk get an opportunity to break but Mark Walsh snuffed out David McMillan's attempt to get the ball Jack Lynch tidies his up back to Tiger now it gives it to Tommy So Treaty United, if they can keep their composure for the next two minutes, could go in level at half time. Here comes a belter uh, that just goes uh, over the um, crossbar from the Tala Stadium in now. And those fresh legs, are they going to pose a difficulty for the home side here? On throw forward from Ed McCarthy to Kieran Hanlon. Hanlon does well to keep it in. Under pressure from Yang Wu. Eventually it's whipped in by Matt Keane, just over the head of Jack Lynch, who had got into a forward position. So on McSweeney, back to Christopher, back to McSweeney. Fancies one, has a go, and it goes over. It's deflected over by a lunge, a last gasp lunge by Andy. And good play here by Mark Ludden. Looked as if he had lost control of that one, won it back to throw it to Dundalk, though. And Daniel Kelly, now Kelly has got Macmillan inside, Kelly going it alone here, gets to the box and sprays one too far across the box had he looked up, a uh, young Wu was all alone and the sick have to make these changes Tommy Yes, uh, and as I say Stephen Christopher, a lot of his work has been kind of in and around his own penalty box so uh, from that side we've, we've got McKevitt who we know Ball into the box, it'll come all the way to Dara Leahy Leahy floats it back in, Macmillan tries to get a head to it back, it comes to Kelly uh, bounces off Mark Walsh at the back there for Treaty and eventually Treaty can clear their lines uh, early control by Armshaw unfortunate for him that it came off his uh, boot as he tried to bring it forward another move forward from Armshaw but cut out by by Rivas Ukarsi and 
Here comes McElhaney, Patrick McElhaney. Will he go alone this time? He sets himself up for the shot. He's going to get a shot away. Ty Grime parries it to his left. And Daniel Kelly will get out there, but McElhaney giving oceans of room there to force the save from Ty Grime. And here's Will Patching now for Dundalk. Patching. McElhaney everywhere for them at the moment. Floats that one into the box. McMillan is all alone. Should have scored. But his header is weak. And Ty Grine gets down to his left and makes the save. That really should have been one. Spurned by Dundalk. And the cup holders will be disappointed, as uh, Tommy Lynn says. We can't be too far away from a water break now, I would imagine. 24 minutes into the second period. Here's Andy Boyle. And Boyle to Patching. Patching has got Leahy outside. Young Wu to Leahy, back to Young Wu, back to Leahy. And Dock certainly look as if they've still got a lot of pep in their step. And Matt McKevitt is a bit of right. Here's McElhaney again, out to Kelly on the right side. Good ball that. Willie Armshaw has got back to defend. Uh, it's Rivas Jukarskis. He's tried to force away a shot. And well defended, well defended there by Treaty. Frustration for the Latvian. Cameron Dummigan getting things going again. McElhaney. Yeah, he's come on and he's just taken over, really, McElhaney. Everything is going through him. He's finding time on the ball. Matt McEvitt letting him know he's there. But uh, just got to be careful. As I say, we've gone back to what we were in the first half, sitting deep and letting them play it around. But with the likes of McElhaney on the ball now, he's one that can't pick a pass or indeed score from uh, 20, 25 yards. Strong challenge there by Ed McCarthy, but it's back with Patrick McElhaney again. McElhaney now looking for movement. He'll give it out to Will Patching. Patching now. Nice one-two edge of the area. And it comes across all the way for Daniel Kelly. Does well. Fain and a lovely save by Ty Ryan. But Kelly did well, feigning as if he was going, going to shoot, taking around the defender. Strikers and feeding it back to midfielders. That corner kick is struck out to McElhaney. McElhaney drills it low. Ty Grine diving to his left. It just goes outside his left hand upright. And we'll have that water break now. And this corner kick to Dundalk now as they attempt to break the deadlock. Good ball in up their rise. McMillan gets ahead and it comes back for Andy Boyle. Second header in it goes. And to O'Donnell clears it. Comes back out to Andy Boyle. Meets it on the half volley. And... Treaty United breathe a sigh of relief as that, as that one goes outside. Ty Grind's left. In this contest where Treaty United almost come a cropper there to Ty Grind. Joe Collins does well. And Sean McSweeney, or sticky as he's known, puts a delightful ball out to little Willie Armshaw. Willie Armshaw floats it in the direction of Matt McEvitt. Comes back out to Armshaw. Is he going to ping one? He pings one. It just goes over the top. And a good effort from the home side there, and a good effort from Willie Armshaw. Get out. Corner kick floated in then. Up there rise. A spectacular effort. And beautifully taken by Ty Grine as that one came in. Look from the easy dub. Andy Boyle is there. Good play by Matt McKevitt. Good play too by Rivas Jurkowskis at the back for Dundalk. Super ball won by Joe Collins there from Andy Boyle and Willie Armshaw puts in a flyer it goes over the uh, crossbar but good play by Treaty United there He's going in to play in the number 10 so you, you'd never know might be a bit more excitement if he gets on the ball a bit earlier and already Back for Treaty United and got a bit of a support there from Matt Keane on that occasion now oh, nice ball out here to Cameron Dummigan, Dummigan cuts inside, lets one go, and had that curled a bit, yeah. that might have posed problems for Ty Ryan. But so they must score, and so must Lavadia Talon on Thursday night. But even from the point of view of scoring in the Europa Conference League, I think Vinnie Perth would have expected a couple today, Tommy. Well, he certainly will happen. He'd be disappointed, as I say. Uh just with their overall tempo of the game, I'd be disappointed. Good play by Collins here and gets one away. A BB goes down to his right and makes a smart save. But Joe Collins for all of 25 in. Only succeeds in hitting it off Murphy. And it'll be a throw in to Dundalk. Dummigan back to Boyle. Boyle looking for movement in the box. Good ball in. Mark Walsh back there. Did he get a touch to it? No, he didn't. 
in rushing behind him. Looked as if it was David Mc. It's not like they put three or four people up front and gone back. I mean, they've a lad up there. He must be six foot seven, six foot eight on the ball now, playing centre half. I mean, throw him up front, do something different, and uh, just change the tempo and the pattern of the game. But no, they're happy just to. Uh, that is Tad picking out McElhaney there earlier. Here's a chance for McElhaney. It takes a deflection and it's gone into the net. And Dundalk have taken the lead through Patrick McElhaney. I think when we look back on that one, it definitely took a deflection as it found its way into the net. So in the 14th minute of the first period of extra time, Dundalk have broken the deadlock here. It was inevitable that that man McElhaney would be involved in it. And that goal coming in the 104th minute. And it's one of those goals, Tommy. When your look is in, it's in. Yeah. So the FAI Cup holders, if you're the Premier side, it happens for you. And uh, Treaty look to have the danger. The matter of getting off that towering Dundalk defence where Sonny Natastad is in there as well. Low ball in by the FAI Cup holders. If you're the Premier side, it happens for you. And uh, Treaty look to have the danger. A matter of getting off that towering Dundalk defence where Sonny Natastad is in there as well. Low ball in by Ludden though. Causes a bit of difficulty. But it comes. Effort comes in from Callum McNamara. And eventually Alan Murphy, it looked like, went down in the box. The referee points for a goal kick. No hesitation in striking it. Initially, like we said, it was off target but uh, took a deflection and ended up. And as I say, the fans are getting behind them. The tempo of the game, three are forcing it. So uh, all we need is a break. Loose one there by Dummigan. There's Callum McNamara. McNamara looking for options. Does nicely in the end. Looked as if he was turning into trouble. Finds Joe Collins out to Anto O'Donnell. Anto O'Donnell rolls it up the wing to Mark Ludden. Mark Ludden cuts inside. Looks, looks for support. Willie Armshaw has it now. Looking, shaping for a shot. Nice ball into Ludden. Down he goes. The referee is there. Not impressed with that one. Armshaw again tries to do something. In it comes touched by McEvitt. What a weak touch in the finish, but uh, holes there for a spot. Mark Walsh won't be hurried, he gives it back to Ty Ryan. Ty Ryan lofts one over halfway, but it should be a Dundalk ball. They do win it, and it's touched on by Zahibo into the path of patching into Macmillan. Macmillan can't get a touch on it, should have been two to Dundalk. But again, David McMillan didn't bring the scoring percent off in this second period of extra time. Ed McCarthy is going to swing this one in. Hands are raised. In it comes. Up they rise. How they could do with Anto O'Donnell on this occasion. Dundalk defending it well back there. And eventually it's an effort from McEvitt. But he can't keep it down. He can't get any pace on it. Sit back in. Dealt with it at the back by Dundalk. But again, Treaty will have an opportunity to come forward. And Mark Loden has already taken the, fr- the throw in to Willie Armshaw, Armshaw pumps it into the box, Matt McEvitt goes in there the ball spins, the second ball comes clear to Joe Collins, he tries a shot but it goes harmlessly wide of Alicia Bibi's right hand up, Patrick McElhaney, that deflected effort on 104 minutes that's going to seal Treaty United's fate here and hand victory to the FEI Cup holders Dundalk or can Dundalk get a second here in they come to wrap it up a brilliant save by Ty Grine it looked as if all Dundalk had to do there was uh, put the ball in the net. Will Patching, though, couldn't do that. Super save by the Treaty United net. Super save by the Treaty United netminder, Ty Ryan. And can Treaty reward him now with an equaliser in the dying seconds here? Here's Willie Armshaw in the box for Treaty United. Armshaw looking for support. Three Dundalk players uh, come down, including Patrick McElhaney. Armshaw does well. Clever ball. Ludden lets it go. An opportunity, and Alan Murphy's shot is blocked. And it's clear that Ty Ryan will try and retrieve this one. But really, there's only 20.